Hang in there, Murray. We're almost there. We're almost there, aren't we, Al? Yes, Lenny, we're almost there. See, Murray, we're almost there. I didn't realize Murray was this heavy. <laughs> well, we've carried him all the way across town, Manny. Anybody would seem heavy after you carry him across town. You probably hurt Murray's feelings, Manny. Don't you think you should apologize to him? Lenny, Murray is unconscious. He's been paralyzed and unconscious for months. How can we hurt his feelings if he can't hear a word we say? <laughs> oh, geez, Mo. I feel so guilty about the accident. I swear, if Jesus heals Murray, I will never throw a horseshoe over my shoulder for good luck again. Let's go for those stairs, Lenny! Oops, I'm so sorry, Murray. <laughs> the town of Capernaum was buzzing with the news. Jesus was back on the letter circuit, dazzling the crowds with his wisdom and spicing up his seminars with an occasional miracle. And tonight, he would be staying in their town once again. What's a mover and shaker like Jesus doing in this lousy little fishing village? <laughs> lousy little fishing village? This is the hometown of Peter, Andrew, James, and John. I heard Jesus can drive out demons. I wonder if he can help me with my mother-in-law. Stop! <laughs> it only works if you've got a herd of pigs nearby. <laughs> if he healed this and Karen's leaf and that poor stuff was all the way across town. If I can just get in the same room with him, maybe he'll cure my bunny. Is it any wonder that Murray's four faithful friends can't wait to connect their paralyzed pal with Christ's chilling touch? Even the pigeons perched on the rooftops of the village can sense the excitement. trek across town, confident that if they could just get their paralyzed, connect their paralyzed pal with Christ's healing touch, everything would turn out all right. Unfortunately, by the time they arrived, the house where Jesus was staying had a standing room only crowd. Oh, geez, Mo. Look at Murray's hand where I stepped on it. It's all swollen. I'm so sorry, Murray. He can't hear you, Lenny!
weren't ready to give up yet. Spotting a ladder nearby, they took their crippled friend around to the side of the house. And they carefully hoisted him up on the roof. Okay, I'll pull, you push. And be sure to keep Marie's head away from the rungs of the ladder. Oh, geez, I did it again. I'm so sorry, Murray. He can't hear you, lady! <laughs> Meanwhile, inside the house, Jesus was playing to a packed house, and his audience was thoroughly enjoying the show, except for a few disgruntled scribes and Pharisees in the back. When up on the roof, there rose such a clatter, the ceiling cracked. <laughs> and dust and debris rained down on the crowd. As the fearless foursome ripped a hole in the roof and lowered their pro ship out in the crowd. Dropping him right at Jesus' feet. What did Jesus do when the sky fell in his lecture? Bolt for the door? Call 911? Nope. He saw the faithfulness in those four friends. And he said to the paralyzed man, My child, your sins are forgiven. What? Only God can forgive sin. Who does this guy think he is? The nerd! Just imagine! One human being forgiving another? forgiveness thing. Stand up, take your mat, and go home, because you are healed. say whether they fix their hole or not. It, it, the Bible doesn't say whether they fix the hole or not. If they did, I doubt they allowed Lenny to help. <laughs> At the end of it all, there was a crowd, a savior, men still wobbly on his feet, and four sweaty, happy friends 
with dirt under their fingernails, and they all knew 